May God's grace and blessing through the Holy Spirit enlighten our hearts so that we will reflect and understand better what the readings of Holy Tuesday would mean. The Gospel recounts the betrayal of Judas and the prediction of the denial of Peter. But I would like to focus on what Jesus said. Now is the Son of Man glorified and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify in the, him in himself and he will glorify him at once. This is in fulfillment of the first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah chapter, chapter 49. I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord and my God is now my strength. I am made glorious fulfilling what Jesus said he will God will also glorify him in himself. The son of man the Ebediaway in prophet Isaiah and the Lord said to him I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. Salvation. So let us reflect on now is the Son of Man glorified. Son of Man, Barnasha. Predicted to suffer and die. The suffering servant of Yahweh and the prophet Isaiah. But he will be glorified. What is his glory? We glorify God, Gloria in Excelsis Deo. According to the teaching of the church, summarized in three functions. First, we glorify God because He created the universe. Omnipotent, all-powerful. Two trillion galaxies, we could not even imagine that. Two trillion galaxies. And every galaxy has billions of stars. Like our Milky Way galaxy. We could not even count whether it's 400 billion stars including ours, the sun is only one of the billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy and there are two trillion galaxies in the whole universe. We could not even imagine the edge of the universe and you have to travel trillions of light years before you reach it. Omnipotent. So, like many scientists now, they believe that there was a creator because they found out science with their higher mathematics and algorithms. They found out this universe with two trillion galaxies had a beginning. It did not exist from all eternity. It began according to Father George Lemaitre, a Belgian priest, began 13.78 billion years ago. Before when they believed that the universe was always there, they did not believe in the Creator. Now, many scientists are believing in the Creator, even Albert Einstein, one of the greatest. But his God is only the Creator God. Omnipotent, but does not care about us. Like a big computer created the world. They could not even explain how he inter intervenes in our lives. So we go to the second. According to our faith, this creator God who created this universe 13.78 billion years ago according to the Old Testament 
God, uh, God is loving mercy and faithfulness. That is how the Old Testament characterizes this Creator God. Who revealed Himself as loving mercy and faithfulness. So in the New Testament, John 3.15, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son for our salvation. And this Son will be the light of the nation so that the salvation of this God who is characterized by loving mercy and faithfulness may reach to the ends of the earth. He created the world, then He revealed Himself through Jesus Christ as a loving God. Forgive sinners, just like Peter. He could not forgive those who, who, who do not ask Him, just like Judah. Despair. But He loves us. The God of Albert Einstein does not know what love is. He is only a crea creator. And then the third, created the universe, revealed himself to us as the God of salvation, and the third, he redeemed our sins. That's why Christ was glorified, because according to the Philippians 2, 11, he did not cling to his being God, but emptied himself and took the form of his slave so that he can redeem us, so that he can be the light of the world, so that he can be our salvation. And that is why the letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, also says, Therefore, God has exalted him. Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him in the gospel today. God has exalted him so that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend above the earth, on the earth, and under the earth. Even the demons acknowledge Christ's glory. So we glorify him. Praise you, worship you, we glorify you. Because you created this wondrous universe. You revealed yourself to us as the God of love separates us from all other religions. They have also gods. They have also the, who created the world. Ours is the only one who says he loves us. And how did he show his love? When we sinned. When we betrayed him. When we denied him. He swallowed the evil. He swallowed the darkness. He swallowed even death. So that we glorify Him because He gives us life that will never end. Who eats my flesh and drinks my blood shall never die. That's what we celebrate again today in the most holy Eucharist. This is my body, this is my blood. And so, as we ask, where shall all these trillions of galaxies go? All these billions upon billions upon billions of stars. Why am I here in this universe? You are here because Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again so that you can accompany Him. If you carry your cross, you can accompany Him to the glory that will never end. That is the reason why you are on this earth. Marami ka sigurong pinagdadaanan, maraming pagsubok, marami ka sigurong pagkakasala. Tanggapin mo. Jesus, as the light of the world, glorify Him. And you will share eternal glory. You will share joy that will never end. 